Hello everyone, we are going to solve manufacturing related questions of GATE 2012 in metallurgy. First question is, which of the following is not a fusion welding process? So this is a very good question and very easy question. See the options, arc welding, it is a fusion welding, gas welding, it is also a fusion, where we weld, we weld using melting, right, melting of the pieces. Resistance welding, yes, this is also a fusion process because fusion takes place by formation of nuggets, right. Next is your friction stir welding. Friction stir welding is a solid state process, right. So, in the case of friction stir welding, what we do, suppose we, know, we want to weld these two pieces, then we introduce a uh, some kind of arrangement is there which rotates and rotates and because of its kinetic motion it creates some heat and this heat makes the solid this material solid very plastic so once it becomes very plastic then it moves keeps on moving and this plastic nature of material again what happens they get welded without any kind of melting right so this leads to the joining of the matter okay guys. next question tungsten filament used in electric bulb is processed by right so this tungsten filament is made by powder metallurgy right this is a very famous question and general question which is generally asked so powder metallurgy is the answer right so why powder metallurgy because we know it is a tungsten, tungsten which has got melting point of uh, more than 3000 degree centigrade, right. So it is very high to melt it and solidify it. So what happens initially we invest some amount of energy to produce powders of this, powders of tungsten and then what we do we make it using powder metallurgy powder metallurgy and we do the sintering process so all happens at a lower temperature than this 3000 it may happen at 1500 or 1400 degrees centigrade so it saves tremendous amount of cost right so that's why it is used by powder metallurgy next the riser is designed such that the melt in the riser solidifies right so what is the function of riser it is uh, it is used as a backup so that if there is more shrinkage then it can provide the liquid metal in the uh, casting and so it will not lead to any kind of crack or some deformation of the structure okay? so when should this solidify so according to the definition also you can see it should solidify after the casting will solidify right so option c will be the correct one right next radiographic technique of detecting defects is based on the principle of so guys radiography so in the case of radiography we introduce waves right it can be like x-ray gamma ray right? these are the things we introduce and we have a piece and once this ray passes through this so their intensity decreases so if it is very uniform material means it is of same kind of material then there will be uniform intensity right suppose there is one defect over here like slag is there or some other things are there which has got density lower than this density of slag is lower than density of matter so what happens so it will absorb less so that means the wave which will be passing through this will be of higher intensity so this larger size arrow so that it is of higher intensity and what we do we put a screen over here right so these red 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 are of same intensity so they will create some color right so they will create some color like this support and these this ray which is of higher concentration so it will create more color 
right so these are these are somewhat light color and you can see this is a very dark color okay so by looking at the film you can see yes this may contain a defect because it is there is a contrast over there significant contrast over there right so this is the fund of this so um, and the equation is i is equal to i naught it is for minus mu t t is your thickness right and mu is the absorption coefficient right and now suppose if you divide it, this mu by density then it becomes mass absorption coefficient okay so i is the initial intensity which here it is sorry i is the intensity which we receive so here this is i and i naught is the initial intensity okay guys? so this is a complete picture of this So this is based on absorption like what is the amount of absorbed uh, in the material so that what is the amount which is going to leave the material right so means if there is more absorption so there will be less intensity which will fall on this screen right okay let us move the flow stress of an alloy varies with strain rate as sigma bar equal to 100 uh, uh, strain rate to the power 0 0.1 ampere when the alloy is hot extruded from 10 centimeter to 5 centimeter diameter at a speed of 2 centimeter per second the flow stress is okay guys so this is a question of extrusion where we initially we have 10, 10 centimeter dia okay then after this we produce dia of d final that is your 5 centimeter so this is a extrusion question and in this case once we want to find the flow stress according to this formula which is given over here 100 strain rate to the power 0.1 right? so first we need to find the strain rate for this so for this what is the strain rate it is 6 v ln r by d naught d naught means initial diameter and so you can find this in the book data book also if you read it data book i am let me write page number 628 okay so you can find over here so this strain rate we can calculate from here so let us calculate this strain rate it will be 6 into v v is the velocity so velocity is your 2 centimeter per second and then r r is the reduction ratio right so r will be here a naught by a f so a naught is pi d square so we can write it as d naught square by d f square simple no issue yes everyone so this we can write it as divided by d naught d naught is your 10 symptom so it will be 12 into ln this so ln it will be 4 by 10 okay so this will be 1.66 so this strain rate we have calculated so what is the stress equal to 100 100 to the power 0 0.1 so it will be 100 1.66 to the power 0 0.1 right so if you now find it then it will be 105.19 right so this will be in MPA only because the unit is given in MPA this matches with your option C sorry option B this matches with option B okay let us proceed next question determine the correctness or otherwise of the following assertion and reason during rolling front tension and back tension are employed to decrease the rolling load okay so this is correct let us see the reason roll pressure decreases due to lowering of flow stress as a result of front tension or lean back yes so this is absolutely correct right so, A is true and R is also true and R is the reason for A. So, this is the 
answer 446 okay so this you can find in the detail also match the defects listed in group 1 with the processes listed in group listed in group 2 so call shirt right so this cold shirt happens during forging process right you know this earring earring happens during deep drawing process right so earring happens like these are the formation of ears right when you make cup alligator ring it happens because of rolling right in the rolling the structure becomes like this okay then shrinkage porosity so shrinkage porosity will be where some kind of melting is taking place so and see here it is given as fusion welding right so this is the answer so p matches with 2 uh, q matches with 3 r matches with 1 s matches with 4 so 47 answer will be c right okay so these were the questions of manufacturing so hope this will help you for your preparation thank you guys